we lived through and survived the Holocaust. Hell on earth. You can't even dream up monstrous atrocities that we hear about in stories. Before them, there were also the Russians, the Cossacks, the Greeks, the Romans, the Egyptians. We have no shortage of tragedies and sorrows. What was all that all about? What do we, what do we gain from all those sad stories? So the truth is that all those sad stories are really worth, sort of fuel for the fire. The enemies that rise up against us wake us up and bring a fight from within us that we fight back. Those enemies really are the people that kept us alive and kept us fighting, fighting against them and thereby standing up for who we really are. We see a pattern. When we become complacent and successful and start to fit in a society, when we start to befriend Asaph and make Asaph our brother, like we see with Yaakov, he was afraid. He didn't want anything to do with Asaph. Not the Asaph that comes with a sword, not the Asaph that comes with a hug. When we become complacent and we are happy and excited to become friends with Asaph, when we want to be like the nations of the world, so Hashem sends an enemy to rise up against us and to threaten us, and that brings out a fight in us. So today, let me ask you, what's going to be with us today? We live in a generation where we all are free to do and be whatever we want. America, 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 the home of the free. They have financial success, they have freedom, they have stature, they have everything. What's the final story? What's this last story that's going to bring us to Mashiach? In the past, where we have fought against enemies that came to kill us, the final challenge and the final enemy is simply what we want. With all the freedom, what do we really want? Do we want Hashem or do we want to just be free to what we want? The final enemy of the Jewish people, you're looking at it. It's me, it's you. We are our own enemy. And so the fight of the past, which was to stand up to people that wanted to kill us, today's fight is not to die for Hashem. We've died. We have the martyrdom, we have all those stories. Today's story is to live for Hashem. All we have to do is decide, Hashem, I want to live for you. If we would all decide we want to live for Hashem, that's the end of our story, that's Mashiach, that's what we've been waiting for. But since unfortunately, we are so busy with everything else involved in our lives, and we haven't chose to live for Hashem, so we are stuck in this final galut that's going to go on for who knows how long. Our final test is not to look at the Arabs, not to look at the Germans. The final and the truest test of what we really made up is what's from within. If we can overcome all of our own inner challenges, if we can stand up for what we truly believe in and what we truly want, and if that will be Hashem, then we'll have Hashem, we'll have our Beis HaMikdash, and we'll have what we've been dreaming and waiting for for thousands of years.